for us, we've had this uh, uh, modern analytics life cycle. Um, it's really a seven step process, pretty straightforward. But the key here is that it takes a perspective from the business user, right? Any person who sits down in the business to make a decision, to understand something, to decide what to do. Um, when we do that, there's a business need. There's, I've got to discover what data do I have. Um, I need to connect to that data, explore it. Is it valid? Um, is it something I can use? I want to prep, enrich that, uh, integrate it. Um, you know, and a lot of these cycles are that fast, iterative, how do we do this 99 times, not once or twice, right? We need, so we use the modern analytics life cycle to say, if you really want to enable somebody in the business, what you want to do is be able to remove the friction out of this. Does your data architecture and your platform capture business needs, right? There are technologies, whether it's Jira, or Confluence, things like that. Discover data. Well, these are like data catalogs, right? Figure out what's out there, understand how it's being used. Connect to the data, right? Profiling, data prep tools do this. Develop the models, data science platforms. Um, visualize, collaborate this, uh, your outputs, make, and then we operationalize and deploy it. In each of these, you wanna see if you can remove the technology friction and have more of a platform where somebody can sit down and go through all seven steps um, or go from step one to two, one to four, one to six, and then start over iteratively as fast as they can. So that's our guide. But what we found after 2020 was the fact that if we said that it wasn't just a business analyst, but maybe it was a business analyst and a data engineer, the inner track here said, so yeah, the business analyst and data engineer we saw in sprint meetings at companies would work together to define the business needs. So we had context, we had drive, which allowed us to discover what's the appropriate data. Connect and explore that. That was more the business analyst could do that. But when you come into engineering data pipelines, your data engineer could do that, visualize, collaborate, back to the analyst looking at the outputs. And then, you know, continuous integration and deployments, monitoring, data governance. That was your data engineering team, you know, doing this work. So an agile sprint, which we saw quite often running two weeks, a portion of that was done by the analyst team and a portion of that was done by data engineers working together. Um, and it made the process go faster. Same with data science development. We call it lean data science development. But once again, a business analyst working with a data scientist to build training data sets, large, you know, wide uh, uh, data integrated data sets that pull things together to meet you know, the needs. But you still need a data scientist to analyze the models and say, this is the appropriate one. And yeah, there's AutoML and other things out there, but develop and, and Maybe you develop multiple models. Maybe you want to push those out in production and monitor them. So ML ops or model ops is really taking off in this year.